This is the Tokyo Butter 23 Sneaker Channel. Tokyo Butter 23 Sneaker Channel. Des, my nichi absolute on the my nichi minti kudasai. Every single day I bring you content from Tokyo, Japan, and every single day I want you guys checking that out. So make sure that you catch me every day when I talk about sneakers. Usually I'm not in the back room, and tomorrow I am absolutely hoping to hope that I will be back in the front room where I prefer to shoot my videos. But for now, we're stuck in the back room. Uh, hopefully things will finish up next door and I'll be back in the front room real soon. But enough about that. Let's get into these sneakers today because we've got a sneaker that many people have been looking forward to whenever a uh, Jordan 1 comes in a sort of Chicago classic Chicago Bulls colorway of any variant people get kind of excited about it and this one's no different because today what we're looking at is the Nike Air Jordan 1 University Red or is it the Nike Air Jordan 1 Gym Red? So far, we haven't been able to find a name for this thing, uh, although by the time this video drops, maybe that name has gotten out there into the public. But as far as I'm aware, we don't know if it's University Red or Gym Red, but either way, it's absolutely popping. As I said, the introduction today is all about the Air Jordan 1 University Red or Gym Red. Uh, and uh, like I said, uh, we don't know about the name. Maybe you guys out there know the name of the sneaker officially, but I don't. Uh, <laughs> obviously, that's why I keep calling it by these two different names. Uh, but that's the sneaker we'll be looking at in today's video. Before that, I would like you to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Uh, why haven't you if you haven't already? But definitely hit that subscribe button down below and help this channel grow. And hit like, hitting that like button helps. Sharing the content helps. Commenting down below helps helps all of these different things help to grow a channel so please do those things uh, so that we can get this channel getting bigger and bigger and bigger uh, okay uh, let's get into this sneaker but before I do that I am here in Japan so I should speak some Japanese which goes something like this mainichi absuru no de toroku onegaishimasu zehi toroku onegaishimasu ano mainichi absuru no wa taihen desu kedo to toroku suru to kansha shimasu no de kansha kando kando ka kando shimasu no de toroku zehi onegaishimasu and I do sort of slip into Japanese every once in a while like that I would like to speak more Japanese but uh, you know I'm not that I'm a bit self-conscious about it let's put it that way uh, anyway let's get into the sneaker so it's the uh, the Chicago Bulls colorway Air Jordan 1 high you know surely there's nothing I miss with this sneaker we just don't even need to talk about it people will buy it but there's one thing about it that I'm not a huge fan of which we'll get into in a minute but for now let's have a look at the different features on this sneaker now we'll start with the overlays around that front and that toe box area you can see that they are black and they wrap around a white toe box on there which is fine to me it looks really really good and as you move back along the sneaker uh, towards the lacing system you've got that black lacing system there as well which is all sort of a uniform black um, and there's not much uh, sort of variance in there and then you get to that midfoot area which is all in white and then on top of that you've got the swoosh in red which really really pops out um, and the the, the sort of combination of those black, whites and reds is what we're talking about in terms of the colorway. Uh, but then as you get towards the heel, the black continues in the, the heel area and then you move up around the ankle and things get a little bit interesting here because you've got the black and the white and the red all playing off of each other, specifically in the Wings logo on there. And that's that Wings logo that kind of, uh, it disappoints me a little bit, I have to admit. And it's not because of the lateral side, it's because of the medial side where there is, uh, it just looks a bit blank there. Uh, I I don't know what you know the norm is as far as design goes but I just think that uh, that medial wing on the ankle support there could have done with some kind of design in there whether it was a wings logo or not uh, but it just looks a little bit bland and a little bit sort of dull to me so it's a place on the sneaker could have had more doesn't quite have more but that's that's fine I mean I, I don't design sneakers so it's not up to me to do that uh, but that's my opinion about it but it's not the thing that I'm, I'm particularly not uh, a fan of on these sneakers it is one thing uh, actually another thing I'm I'm not a huge fan of is the word sail s-a-i-l not s-a-l-e i'm a huge fan of s-a-l-e i love to get things in the sales uh, but s-a-i-l particularly um the reason i'm not a fan is because it seems like every shoe that's dropped this year has sail color in it somewhere and these ones have that midsole that sail midsole on top of that black outsole down below um but the feature that I'm not a huge fan of in these sneakers is actually the the glossy kind of shiny feel of the tumbled leather. It seems like every Air Jordan 1 that's come out mid or um, low or high that's come out this year has been tumbled leather. Uh, and these are no different tumbled leather, but what is different is that glossy, shiny kind of uh, finish to it. And I, I don't like it. I've never been a huge fan of 
patent leather on Air Jordan 1s. I know that that's a big thing about the Air Jordan 11s, you know, that kind of zoot suit sort of vibe that goes with the Air Jordan 11s. Uh, but I, I've never really liked it on Air Jordan 1s. There was a UNC that dropped earlier this year, I think originally in women's, but then expanded to everybody's uh, sort of size run that had patent leather. And it's just not something I, I like. I like the duller colors. Uh, and it's something that I'm not look, looking forward to in the upcoming Shattered Backboards. Uh, the original, original Shattered Backboards are a fine looking sneaker, but the upcoming common ones seem to have that glossy shiny feel to them and you can see that's the same on this sneaker here too and it's not I'm just not a huge fan of it it's, it's my own personal opinion other people out there may disagree with me and I, I hope they do and if they do disagree with me they comment down below and let me know because I love to have a bit of dialogue on the channel especially when people disagree with me uh, but for me that's a bit of a letdown on this sneaker uh, I think on paper people would have looked at this if the, at the design makeup and thought wow that's going to be an absolute banger but I think in reality when you have a look at them it's kind of like ah, you know what there's just something a little bit off something a little bit missing so for me it's a bit of a no uh which is kind of rare on an air jordan one you want to pick up your air jordan ones as and when you can but these ones not for me right now okay that's enough for me today uh the last video in this back room hopefully today i don't want to uh be back here as uh, very often i don't like to shoot video back here but i had to uh this week hopefully things will be sorted out next door and also hopefully talking about a 23 mummy granny mummy or granny will be in town because i do have a one-year-old daughter so um so it's granny to her and it's mommy to me. She's coming to visit me in Japan for a while. So you'll probably hear her chipping away in the background with her zero knowledge of sneakers, which is actually quite funny. <laughs> uh, for now, it's uh, time to sign off. Thank you guys for checking out my content. I am here every single day. Do please check out my content as often as you can. To do that, hitting the subscribe button and the little notification bell down below really, really helps. Uh, thanks for checking me out. I will be back again tomorrow. Uh, for now, it's just time to say goodbye. Do what I do at the, ever uh, do what I do at the end of every single video. Point you with my left hand. Say that I will see you tomorrow.